This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice met with officials with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the mayor of the city of Milton, signing an agreement to work together to build an 8,300 foot long levee between Milton and the nearby Lower Mud River, substantially reducing the risk of flooding in the area. The good part about it is it brings in another $90 million of federal money. And then when you spend all that money, you're surely at the goodness hoping the multiplier effect of every dollar that you spend is real money and real jobs and real opportunities to our area. Also this week, the governor appeared at Blue Ridge Community and Technical College in Martinsburg and on the national news to welcome all people and businesses from across the country to come to West Virginia. Additionally, Governor Justice awarded a $60,000 check to the Mason County 4-H Youth Camp to jumpstart much needed upgrades to the campsite's kitchen and dining facility. You need $60,000 to do something as simple as have better equipment to where you can better staff a kitchen to where you can do things and where you don't have to bring meals in from who knows where. You can actually save significant money over the years and all that kind of stuff. To me, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. First Lady Kathy Justice spoke at a luncheon for the annual Women's and Girls Day at the legislature, hosted by the West Virginia Women's Commission. The Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety hosted Corrections Day at the legislature, which included an award ceremony to recognize some corrections officers. Curator of the Arts Randall Reed Smith and the governor awarded prizes for student winners of the Almost Heaven Governor's Art Exhibit. And the First Lady and the governor each made stops at Catholic schools in the state as part of Catholic Schools Week. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.